Hello everyone, this is Bodyquip Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Time Dilemma. In the last episode, we were with Q-Team in the Biolab. And I uh, had to do a lot of editing because I was messing around and trying to figure out some stuff. But I got it. I got it. What's the pain? <laughs> All those color combos and... I still didn't get the right one on my own. Anyway, I got that. So now let's uh, let's continue on from here. Oh, now I see. That's how it goes. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I knew it too, of course. I noticed way before... Hey, don't ignore me. Really, Eric? You're such a dork. Some kind of machine came out. A fingerprint authentication device? Do we have to prove our identities now? What if the exit opens if we do it? Let's just try it out. Okay. Ow, that hurt! What the... I thought it just wanted a fingerprint. Oh, boy. What is this? Was this some sort of trap? Damn it, I'm bleeding. That hurt. Huh? What's that sound? Maybe that means we passed the authentication? Oh. Hey, look over there. The light by the sink turned on. Okay. Um. Finally. The green light turned on. It must mean there's power. Did anything change? Well, let's see. This thing, it can move? Okay. So we can use it now. I think the power's on, but it still doesn't work. No water. What about down here? Oh. Huh. There's a drawer here. This is a scalpel. We can probably use it. Let's take it with us. Okay, so now, because we lost the knife earlier, we can use the scalpel. Oh. I see. Anything else? Ah, uh, okay. What else can I do? It's stuck again. I think I heard a click when it stopped. Look! Now the light on the equipment over there turned on! So that means that one can be moved, too. This is the one... Uh, we have power. Yes, and now we can move it. Here we go! Oh. Wh what? Now the light's red. Did I do something wrong? W watch out! Get away from there! What the heck? Uh, what the hell? Here we go. Ugh, this thing's heavy. And the smell is disgusting. Ugh. Okay, I'm not going to make too much of that sound. Because I know uh, I'm the type, if I hear that, I get triggered. <laughs> and I want to, I get sick. Uh, but yeah, I know what he's talking about. That smell is disgusting. Quit whining and move it. Didn't you want to prove you were a man? You can do it, Eric! Oh my gosh, pig and formaldehyde. Can we just combine it with the knife? No? Okay. Um, that was weird! You've got to be kidding me. That super hard glass shattered into pieces. It didn't seem like it'd break very easily. Maybe the glass was designed so that it'd break easier from the inside. Okay, where do I... Cut the pig. On here? Ew. So, we have to slash the pig's stomach? You got this. I'll be cheering you on from over here. He's like a mile away. <laughs> I can't believe you. Hmm... All right, here we go, dissection. The pig's all set, and I have a scalpel, but where do I start cutting? Oh, for crying out. Here, give me the scalpel. There's a trick to it. Ooh, wait, how did she know that? W wow, so clean. She's smarter than she looks. Does your family own a farm, Mira? Something like that. Now, let's see what's inside this thing. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. So that's it. Sweet. Zero. Seventeen years ago, a woman died. Her chest caught open in a Seventeen years ago again? Just like that pig man. What difference? That woman was alive. Ooh. Her heart was still beating as the organs proved a card. Jesus. The male suspect was picked This is the same story? He must have planned to escape the taxi as he called one. Huh? The police arrested him before he was able to utilize the waiting vehicle to flee the scene. Hmm. Instead, the genius surgeon plugged Yeah, he mentioned a taxi. He was heading to the hospital. A seriously ill patient awaiting his arrival for life-saving treatment. However, the taxi got into an accident before reaching its destination. It collided with a large truck. The result in Brent Watson redness. Sadly, as a result of this accident, the driver and surgeon died, as well as the young boy waiting for surgery. Life is truly unfair. Okay, guys, I had to put this on pause here. All right, so I was wondering. I mean, I knew there had to be a reason. I can actually figure out right now this story that he's been telling. It's one story, especially keep saying 17 years ago so 17 years ago um i believe there was a woman and she was running down a path and she instead of taking her normal path she went down the, another path because there was a snail and she had bumped into her neighbor and he was like oh why did you take this other path and she's like well there was a snail so by her choosing the other path, I think she's the one who got killed? Uh, the one who got her heart taken out, apparently. And then, after that, there was a man, and he was innocent, but they accused him of doing it. And his wife committed suicide after he was uh, imprisoned or whatever. And that was like a separate branch. But anyway, that man, according to what he just said, the man called for a taxi, but because he was arrested, he couldn't get in the taxi. And then a surgeon got in the taxi instead, and they got into an accident, and the driver and the surgeon died. And so the patient of the surgeon died as well. So I think he had said, like, something about a single snail caused six, like, six people, like, to die. So that's really interesting. I mean, I don't know what it has to do with us or this whole story and game in general, but I can see what he means by, you know, decisions and uh, he keeps saying life is unfair because, you know, a lot of those people dying and everything bad happening to these people, he's attributing to this one decision. The fact that she didn't stay on that her usual path because of snail. Yeah, so really interesting. I love this game. <laughs> I love and hate it. It's really interesting. All right, oh. let's get back to it. Don't you think? What is the point of him telling us this story? It's just some kind of act, right? No. Probably doesn't mean anything. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Now then, let's begin our game, shall we? The rules are as follows. Oh no. The pig stomach you. Oh, radical six. I was wondering when that would come up. This virus is special. It awakens a desire to kill oneself, among other things. Once infected, symptoms appear as early as ten minutes, or take up to two hours. Oh boy. And the host soon finds the urge to commit suicide irresistible. <laughs> the mortality rate is seventy-five percent. Transmitted through liquids, it's highly contagious. Oh yes, I believe you located a set of documents during your search of this room. Hmm. A set of files on FBR, the fanatic bio-R virus. The mortality rate of this virus is 100%. Ooh. Infection was 
virus is toxic, but using the other as a vaccination provides an antidote. What is he talking about? device over there? Oh, I do remember feeling something when I touched it. Like a prick. So we were all stabbed by a poison needle? Mm. Crazy. I've never heard of this. So wait, do we even need to choose? Huh? If what Zero told us is the truth, then the outcome will be the same. If we inject ourselves with this radical six, we're already infected with FBR. Doesn't make sense. So they destroy each other and we're fine. And if we don't do it, that just means we weren't infected with FBR in the first place. But what if it's a lie? Now this is crazy. Huh? He's saying what if he's lying about being psychic? Mm. Well, if you think about it, the likelihood that he's lying is incredibly high. So then, what do we do? What the hell do we do? Now this is crazy. I would not want to inject myself with Radical Six. Oh, but this FBR sounds awful. Never heard of it before, but... Um... <sighs> okay, decision, decision. I mean, I don't want to die from FBR. Well, okay, so let's say we injected ourselves and that we cured ourselves. That's great, but if we inject ourselves then we have 75% chance of dying um and radical six is awful anyway um but if we don't inject then we have a hundred percent chance of dying if we have FBR I mean either way we're probably gonna die <laughs> honestly um I don't I don't want to inject myself no I just no I don't know. This is weird. Maybe you, we shouldn't. Yeah. No, yeah, Radical yeah, Six is right? bad. Care to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said. If Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. Mm. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't have powers. Right. The important thing to determine is if we're actually infected with FBR. So you don't think we are then? No. In fact, 
a virus called Fanatic Bio R existing in the first place is very Yeah, because we never heard of it before. Radical Six sounds just as fantastical. Huh. No. There's no doubt that Radical Six is not true. true. I've heard of it before. Well, it could be that Zero wants us to become infected with Radical Six. But instead of doing it himself, for some reason he's unable to. Hmm. So he needs us to do it ourselves. Then. That's weird. Oh. Hey, what the? The door. <gasps> it opened. Let's get out of here. If we're too slow, then the door might up and close on us. Wait, Eric. Why are you looking at that, Mira? No. <laughs> No. Hey, Mira! What are you doing? Oh my god, she is bad. I knew it. I don't know what she's planning, but I don't trust her at all. <sighs> Psycho. We must have been right not to inject it. I still feel okay, and more importantly, the door opened for us. There's still another possibility, you know. That Zero really does have the ability to see the future. If it's true, then we would have been right if we had injected the needles, too. Hey, did you tell the truth earlier? About what? About Radical Six being real. Oh, um, yeah. How do you know about it? Well, I'm not sure. Could you get any more suspicious? I know what I know, okay? I can't help that. So why not share? Tell us more about this Radical Six virus. More. <laughs> I'm not even sure where to start. How about its name? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Aside from triggering intense suicidal impulses, Radical Six causes the infected's thought process to reduce by one root six. Therefore, when one second passes for them, the world has gone through root six seconds, or roughly 2.45 seconds. There is also the word radical. Aside from meaning things like extreme, it can also refer to a radical root. Get it? Oh, so that's why it's Radical Six. But... Is it really possible for thought speed to be slowed down like that? Yep. The infected, through changes in DNA methylation and histone modification, gain epigenetic mutations in the control mechanisms of their genetic expressions. Uh, wait! Could you maybe simplify that, please? Oh, the body's composition changes as a genetic switch is flipped, more or less. A genetic... Switch? Huh. Uh, let's try this. A common scientific thought, until now, was that parental characteristics didn't transfer. Recent research has changed that. We now know that they can be, by flipping certain genetic switches. Well, regardless of what kind of experiences the parents had to go through, their DNA blueprints won't change. But... Within that expansive DNA coding, the question of what should be read seems to change based on experience. The change becomes especially apparent when the parents' lives are in danger. Like maybe if someone was trapped in a shelter and forced to risk their life. So if Eric and I did the horizontal tango right now, the baby might end up psychic. What? Anyway, so if Radical Six really does flip the genetic switch... Hey, are you listening? Uh, yeah. So, you're basically saying this Radical Six virus is super dangerous, right? Yes, there's no doubt it is. So, Zero said earlier that Radical Six transmits through bodily fluids and is highly infectious. If someone infected with the virus was to go outside, then... Then... Mankind, six 
billion people will die. Six billion? Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. These three are now deceased. As a result, three X-Passes will be revealed. Fire, crash, five. That is all. What the hell? C-Team is dead? It's obviously because of the vote. The vote? At 1330. Then... But wait. Did everyone from C-Team really die? We haven't seen their corpses or anything. They're they might still be alive. No. They're dead. I'm sure of it. Why? Because. Huh. He has the same vision power as Diana. He's right. I don't think they're alive. You too, Mira? Uh... What do you think, huh? old man? C-Team's gotta oh, be man. alive, right? Talking to Gap? Doing, Eric? He's That's not gonna really answer weird. you. Hey, you don't know. Maybe he... Since speak. when? He's not even looking at Gap, though. That was weird. Now it is time for you to sleep. Zero. Okay, what is going on? When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Okay. Huh. That was interesting. Um. Hmm. I don't know. That, la that last part kind of made me feel confused. I mean, they could have been talking to Gab, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would he talk to Gab and say old man and then something about maybe he can speak? What do you... What? That was weird. Uh... Very strange. Alright. So now let's go back and inject radical sex. Nothing good will come from this, I'm sure. Alrighty. Let's do it. Huh? <laughs> If I mean, if Zero was telling the truth, then injecting ourselves, we should be fine because it would mean that we have FBR and it would cancel each other out. But I don't know, man. This feels like a bad end kind of thing to me. So let's do it. Hmm. Let's do it. Why? Here to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said. If Zero does have that power, then it's the huh. same either way. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't. Our fate can go four different ways if that's yeah. the situation. If we are infected with FBR, and we inject ourselves with Radical Six. That's two. Or not. If we aren't infected with SBR, and we inject ourselves with Radical Six. Right, that's or two not. more. The important thing we need to remember, though, is the mortality rates. Zero said the casualty rate is 75% for the Radical Six. That's virus. a big percent, though. And we saw in the files that death is 100% confirmed for Fanatic Bio R. So we can use that to determine. It's clear which option is best, mm. right? I see. The probability that we're infected with FBR is 2 to 1. 
which means if we inject radical six, our survival rate is half of 125, 62.5%. And if we don't inject it, then our chance is sitting at 50%. Any objections? Dude, I don't believe that math is the solution to everything. I know what to do. <sighs> okay, here we go. Ready? Wait, and... how are you going to do that? It looked like you're injecting it into the bracelet. That doesn't make any sense. You have plenty of other skin. So hmm. are we good? Did we do the fine. right thing? The lab door opened afterwards, so we must have. Do you feel any different? No. Yeah, was so really. cute. So, I guess. <laughs> oh, that laugh is weird. Hey, Eric. I've thought this before, but well, your laugh is kind of <laughs> strange. <Rude. laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I guess this is, well, sort of a bad habit I've had since I was a kid. What do you mean? Issues yeah. at home, I guess. Was yeah, from what we saw. That's just it. We no, your dad normal. killed your brother. A kind mom, a clumsy dad, and an annoying little brother. They always do this music and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, what's wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. They've just been crying. Hey, you two. Mind telling mommy okay, why you're stopped. crying? <laughs> Chris broke my toy! Really? No! It was your fault, Eric! Chris, Eric, listen, listen to me, okay? When painful or sad things happen, People get angry or cry because of them. But even at those times, I want you to never forget to smile. That's why he always says that. Smile? Yes, He's smile. No matter how painful things get, as long as you can face it with a smile, happiness No, he's too creepy. Smiles have a strange power. Really? Yes, mm. really. And that's not all. A smile can make everyone all around you happy, too. <gasps> you too, Mommy? You'll be happy, too? Of course. So why don't you two stop fighting and show Mommy your smile? Okay. Yeah. Then what happens later? <laughs> you sure are something else. Hey, what about me? Can Daddy no, get some Daddy's smiles, evil. too? Oh dear, it looks like Daddy's lonely, you two. Let's all give him a whole lot of smiles. They okay. look so happy. Get over here for a hug. <laughs> oh, you've oh, gotten God. big. Oh, me too, me too. Okay, okay. Come at me, I'm ready. Yay! Oh, this sounds so <laughs> fake. I don't know, is this real? He sounds like a kind of deranged kind of version. Mom always told us to never forget to smile. She'd never hurt a bug. Not even if a line of ants crossed her path. She was that kind and gentle. She was incredible. And when we lost her, oh. that's when Dad changed. So it was real, and then he became evil. But he killed the little boy. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Who said you can know. fucking cry? That's awful. Chris! Oh, Jesus, Eric! Can't you even look after your shitty little you? brother? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. How could you do that? Me. Your wife would be so upset. God. <sighs> fucking kids. Hey, hey, go, go find, find someone, someone to get me beer. beer. I can't believe it. That's awful. Don't cry. Don't get mad. You better always smile. That's what Dad liked to say. But unlike Mom, 
He was never not angry with us. Eventually, I figured out how to smile, regardless of what was going on. Just smiling day in and day out. No fun. Not happy. I'd be made fun of, or yelled at. And no matter the pain, no matter how bad it was, I never raised my voice. I just kept smiling. I didn't stop, even after Dad fell ill and died. And your brother. Oh, this is bad. So I guess the two smiles, one taught by my mom and one forced by my dad, got kind of mixed up, and the result is what I pasted on my face. Eric, she's... I've never talked to anyone about all of this before, but... Mira, will you still love me, even with me being like No wonder this? he's messed up. How dumb can you get? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't even have to ask, did I? Eric, thanks for sharing that. It wasn't like I did <sighs> it for you or anything. It just sort of came out, that's all. Yeah, still, thanks. To tell the truth, I just didn't want to and end up like my father. And yet, what you do to Q... So I forced my mouth to keep smiling through everything. But it's no use. The worst part of me still came to the front True. after we got trapped here. I pushed all yep. of that on you, too. Don't worry about it. I'm all right. <laughs> okay. So you never mentioned you had a younger brother. Yeah. About your age, more or less. What? We're the same age? Oh, maybe we could be Wait, friends. Wait, no. Would it... Be okay if I met him after we get out? Um, well... He's dead. Uh, anyway, sorry I turned the mood dark. <laughs> <laughs> you turned the mood. Oh, your jokes always what? crack me up, Eric. Huh? I mean, to think that was dark. <laughs> you really have a sense oh. for these things. No, she's acting creepy. Don't worry, listening to it was a lot of fun. Wait a minute. What makes you think that was all a joke? Uh-huh. It was such a sad story. He just told us he's been holding in this painful past the whole time. How is that a joke? Oh, <laughs> I just didn't think <laughs> to make a mistake like hell? that. A mistake? I'm so sorry. I've always been clumsy. clumsy. It's at times like these that I, I don't even know how to look, you know? Clumsy? Hey, Eric. Can you tell me? <laughs> Mira. Uh, what the hell? Oh my god. <gasps> I don't... Okay, I actually feel bad for Eric right now. What the hell? What? How could she do that? Psycho! Mira? Why did you... Oh, the music's gone. Uh. Oh no, he's feeling the radical six? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Mira? Stop! Stop this! I thought Radical Six makes you suicidal. Oh no. Oh no! Q! She's a monster! No! I'm pissed we don't have music for this, but. <laughs> What the hell? Is this from the Radical Six or is she just a crazy witch? Whoa. Ugh. Oh. Sorry guys, I gotta end this right now. <laughs> Bye.